lads, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. Welcome if you are joining us for the first time. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. It's actually going to be my first review of a product. So a little bit nervous, but also very, very excited because guys, I did a thing. A little bit of an impulse buy today, but I am so, so excited. I have been wanting one of these for so long and I just thought it would be super fun to jump on here and actually unbox it with you so that we can enjoy it together. So a couple of fun facts about the Dyson hairdryer before I open this bad boy up. The Dyson hairdryer is a big hole, big hole in through the center which allows the hairdryer to take in air from all sides, multiplying its power and it pushes the air out onto your hair through the ring. So that sounds all very technical to me. It's also six times smaller and three times lighter than your average hairdryer, despite delivering such a powerful airflow. Well, I'll be the judge of that. There are four temperature settings and three airflow settings on the Dyson as well to help you find your optimal airflow and temperature based on your hair type and to help prevent damage. And one of the benefits of the Dyson super powerful hair dryer is thanks to its super powerful motor which apparently helps cut drying time in half. So that's interesting. So. Let's jump into it and open it up. It has a little case, slide off. That's cool. It has a little picture on the front of the box. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually all of the internal workings of the hairdryer, kind of like a little hairdryer skeleton. So I think that's pretty cool. Ooh, pretty. So we've got two nozzle attachments, the hairdryer itself, diffuser, and two other little things. So we'll have a little look and see what they are. That's handy. A user guide. Let's open that up so that I actually know what I'm looking at. Ah, okay. So this is a little non-slip mat. Just feels like it's made out of silicone. Has a little Dyson embroidery thing on that. Cute. We've got the diffuser. Then we have the larger nozzle piece here, uh, which it says this is the smoothing nozzle. And then you have a second nozzle, which is a slightly smaller one. And this one is apparently the styling concentrator. And last but not least, this little guy is a gentle air attachment. No idea what that does. We'll have to wait and see. So first off, let's jump into the actual hairdryer itself. It's really light. So the motor is supposed to be in the handle, but even then it's very, the weight is very well distributed. It has a filter down the bottom and it looks like you just turn like that to take it off. So obviously you can get in and clean your filter rather than actually having to pop off the back like you would. Um, and then slide that back on and closed. So on the actual hairdryer itself, we have the airflow controls, which is the little white fan there. And then we have the red dot, which is the uh, temperature control settings for four precise heat settings on and off little switch and then your cool shot 
press and hold to deactivate heat and set style. Now on to the attachments. So this is pretty exciting. It says that the, so the smoothing nozzle uh, dries hair gently using smooth air. Obviously I'm only really gonna use the diffuser on this, but that's good to know. The smaller styling concentrator is for fast, precise airflow for controlled styling on one section at a time. The diffuser, my favorite right here. A diffused even airflow to help define curls and reduce frizz, recommended for use on the low temperature and flow settings. And then it looks like, oh. so it's magnetic. It'll just, that's quite strong too. Just pops on there like that. No wiggle, no nothing. You've really got to give it like a good pull to get it back off again. So that's really good. That's quite sturdy. I'm impressed with that. Okay, and then the gentle air attachment is for gentle, cooler airflow for fine hair and delicate scalps. Alrighty, the LED settings. So for the flow, one light is gentle, two lights is medium, and three lights is fast. And then for the temperature settings, no light is cool air, one light is low, two lights is medium, and three lights is high. The LEDs will also flash continuously when it is time to change the filter. Okay, so that is pretty much the ins and outs of the Dyson hairdryer. So now the only thing that is left to do is to give it a go. Now I was so excited to open this up today, but my wash day is actually tomorrow. So with the magic of pre-recorded filming, I will be right back after I have washed and conditioned my hair, ready to give this bad boy a run through. And we are back. I have washed, conditioned, and styled my hair. Now I'm gonna let it air dry for approximately one to two hours, and then I'm gonna go in with the Dyson hairdryer to diffuse my hair. Alrighty, an hour and a half of air drying my hair, and now it is time to give this guy a go. I don't know if you guys could see, but I had this on the first heat setting, which was supposed to be no heat, and then slowly had a feel through each of the uh, fan settings, the airflow settings, and ended up settling on the highest one. So each time I went up, my hair was hardly even moving. If I did that on my regular hair dryer and put it on full ball and held it underneath my curls like that, they would be blowing out in a complete mess. Whereas this, I held it just underneath and there was slightly, hardly any movement whatsoever. I think it has to do with the fact that the diffuser has its little prongs with the holes in it. Um, then it's got all of these tiny little holes, but then right in the center, you can kind of see that silver circle. I'm going to see it in there. Can you see that silver? That is a silver, looks like a silver metal mesh part that's in there. And it has these tiny, tiny, tiny little microscopic holes. 
So I think that when you actually apply this diffuser to your Dyson hairdryer, it just disperses the air so evenly that it hardly even makes any movement to the hair whatsoever. But usually for me to dry my hair to that sort of 90%, 95%, which is what it is at the moment, just using my normal hair dryer, that would take me at least half an hour, at least. And that is on the lowest setting, continuously holding on to that cool shot button, getting a cramp in my hand, um, sore arms from having to hold the hair dryer over my head as well. But this, that took me maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. And I did exactly the same thing with my whole styling routine. I did the same thing with letting my hair air dry for the two hours. It's not overly hot here today, so it's not like my hair's had an overwhelming opportunity to air dry itself. And this still only took 10, 15 minutes to dry my hair. <laughs> Okay guys, I just wanted to jump on here. It's been a couple of days since I filmed my diffusing video for the first time with the Dyson, but I've just had an epiphany and I want to show you what power and airflow comes out of the Dyson without the attachment on. I don't know why I didn't think of this when I was doing the filming. Obviously, I'm crazy. I thought it would be really beneficial for you to see exactly how well the air is distributed. Reading back through a lot of the reviews that I saw online, people said that they didn't feel that it worked any better than their regular hair dryer, that the airflow wasn't as powerful, but I think again it's due to the amazing design of this diffuser and how well it actually distributes the air without disturbing your hair and your curls. So let's jump straight into it and I'm going to show you very quickly the three different airflow settings on the Dyson without the diffuser attachment. Well, I think that was a success. Gives me great volume. <laughs> Obviously, I would not recommend drying your hair that way without the diffuser attachment, but you get the idea. And now back to our regular scheduled programming. Was nice and comfortable one thing that i did notice though is obviously you don't want the handle to be too long but i think i'm used to holding the handle a bit further down but obviously you've got the air filter down here that you need to not cover to allow that part of the airflow to be taken in through the filter so i did find i had to keep adjusting my hand but i think that's just first time um, adjustments that i'll need to get used to i think this is amazing. So the only thing left to do now is to scrunch out the crunch and see what we're left with and see if there's any more frizz than I would usually have. very happy with my purchase. I guess I'd want to be for the amount of money that I paid for it. 
Just keep in mind though that you don't have to go out and buy one of these hair dryers to be successful with the curly girl method. You can use any old hair dryer that you have as long as you have a diffuser for your curly hair and preferably if your hair dryer can have optional heat and airflow settings and a cool shot. But if you are looking to upgrade the hair dryer that you already have, want to give it a go and are happy to spend the money, I would 100% recommend one of these, especially for curly girls, especially. And I really like the design. It's very sleek, modern, ergonomical, nice and light, um, easy to pack away and travel with as well. Um, so I'll definitely be taking this on my next trip away. I did try to review this product honestly. This is my own opinion. I am by no means a specialist in hair or hair dryers or electronics. All of the opinions that I have used in this video are my own and my own personal experience of using this hairdryer versus my previous hairdryer. And if you are thinking about going out and buying the Dyson hairdryer, make sure that you check the return policies, keep your receipts, because if you do try it out and it doesn't happen to work for you, I don't want you to be feeling as though, oh, well, she recommended that, but it's not working for me and now I've lost 500 plus dollars. So please just make sure that you cover yourself, keep your receipts, check those return policies. But honestly, I feel like if you do purchase one of these, I think you're going to be really happy because I am definitely happy with my purchase. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. Also feel free to leave a comment, leave any questions, and if I can't answer them, I will find an answer for you and come straight back and let you know. As always, you can also reach out to me on Instagram at Curly Dress Journey. And that is all from me today, my loves. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.